Equipment for information handling has gone through a significant development phase during recent decades. The amount of information and data that we're able to access today is so comprehensive that it needs to be stored and administrated in a variety of places where it can subsequently be accessed, compiled, and presented where you want and whenever you want. This capability is very impressive, but something that's taken for granted. But when it comes to equipment for handling and processing physical components, developments have not been as fast as with information. However, the production manufacturing industry also wants to be able to sort and access products whenever they want, in any way needed, in order to process them and thereafter send them on to the next work cell of their choice. If we were to start from a totally blank page, we would wish for portals, just like in computer games. Convenient, but this is not really doable. So how close can we get in reality? Here is something which is very similar. In fact, it's even better. Imagine a portal in the shape of a vertical transporter. From there, products are sent down to the production cell and can then be sent up again, whenever you want, in any way you want, providing maximal efficiency and ergonomic benefits, allowing the user to handle a wide variety of products in length, size, and weight, all thanks to the flexibility of the system. What happens in the space above is just like what happens in the digital world, but even more impressive. Transporting, switching, storing, lifting, sorting, sequencing, searching, buffering, delivering, handling. A fully automated flow with complete control and traceability of components in the manufacturing process. Where they have been, where they are now, and where they're going. A real internet of things. All products have their own unique identity, thanks to the integrated transponders in each product carrier. Material handling is optimized throughout the entire production process, thereby minimizing throughput time, either through determined routes or through flexible workflows, such as intelligent automated balancing. It's possible to obtain real-time information about what has happened, what is happening at this very moment, and what is about to happen in the production process. This provides users with complete control and the ability to maximize production balancing. At the same time, transportation between production cells and workstations is performed automatically, thus reducing the need for manual handling. Truly a smart factory. One of the big benefits with the system today uh, is of course the, the safety reason. Uh, we don't have forklifts on the floor anymore, which means that we, um, we have all the convey system in the roof. We have efficiency, we have flexibility and ergonomics. Uh, we have also connected our production system to our convey system, which means that we have total transparency today to our flow, which gives us visualization through the plant. Uh, this takes us to uh, the next level, and it gives us three plants in one. This is made possible as the Eaton Systems workstation occupies only one square meter of floor space and utilizes three levels by using the space above. With Eaton Systems, the majority of handling is automated. And sometimes it's even fully integrated with automatic machines. This is impressive, but something Eaton Systems customers are used to and take for granted. Within the manufacturing industries, only 20% of the processes are value-added time, and 80% of the time is taken up by other losses, mainly material handling. The normal investment would be faster production machines, but Eaton is focusing on the remaining 80%, as this is the most important area for achieving the highest efficiency.